what up guys my name is essence and welcome to my channel or welcome back we're in a different place right now this is a little bit different but i just wanted to come to you real quick because i've been seeing these videos going around everywhere and i want to get a little piece on it because i have an opinion today we're talking about five reasons why your hair is not growing okay so let me start off by saying that this is not a feel-good video this is straight cutthroat facts okay so don't get offended don't click out of the video if you really 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 want to know why your hair is not growing then keep watching so reason number one why your hair is not growing is because you don't have a routine let's be honest you don't have a wash routine you don't have a moisturizing routine you don't have a deep conditioning routine you don't have a routine okay you're thinking that you're just gonna sit back and let your hair do its thing and it's just gonna grow no you need to give it a little push you need to let your hair get used to products you won't believe how many people I talk to who are very inconsistent with their natural hair sometimes they moisturize sometimes they don't sometimes they shampoo sometimes they don't sometimes they do things and sometimes they don't you need to have a routine okay you need to get your hair into a rhythm of being treated a certain way so that may mean pre-pooing or shampooing every week or maybe every other week but get your hair into a routine so it can have something that it can rely on and something that it's used to you can't do random things to your hair and then expect it to react a certain way you have to get it into a rhythm and you have to train it so the first reason why your hair is not growing is because you don't have a routine okay guys so the second reason why your hair is not growing is because you don't moisturize let's be honest here there are so many girls that I talk to who don't moisturize their hair or they moisturize their hair very inconsistently once a week or maybe not even that much and their hair is dry. If you, if you don't already know, moisture is a natural girl's best friend. Moisture is what is going to help you retain your length and help breakage from taking your length away so especially if you're a type 4 and you have super super coily hair the oil from your scalp is going to have a hard time getting all the way down to the bottom so you need to make sure that you're adding moisture in consistently for some people that means every single day for some people that means every other day but you have to be moisturizing your hair more than once a week you definitely have to be moisturizing your hair more than once a month you got to be moisturizing your hair so the second reason why your hair is not growing is because you don't moisturize the third reason why your hair is not growing is because you don't deep condition if there's one thing that i can say definitely change the game and that i will never stop doing is deep conditioning because deep conditioning is like moisturizing on another level it's like conditioning on another level it's like the og of moisturization <laughs> so deep conditioning is going to help products and and moisture penetrate all the way through your hair strands you need to deep condition especially if you're using a sulfate shampoo or something that's stripping your hair you need to get all the moisture in back into your strands as effectively as quickly and as easily as possible and for the longest amount of time deep conditioning is going to take all of the all of the moisture from the top of your hair everything that you're putting on it and get it straight through your strands so you need to be deep conditioning but this is one crucial thing that a a lot of girls keep out of their hair routine but is so crucial and can be changing the game for you so the third reason why your hair is not growing is because you don't deep condition all right guys on to number four the fourth reason why your hair is not growing is because you cut off all your growth there are so many people who are like scissor happy or maybe they just think that they need to cut their hair a set amount of times listen you cut your hair as needed don't let anybody tell you you need to be cutting your hair every month, every six weeks, every perm, every whatever. Cut your hair as needed. There are a lot of people out here who are cutting off their hair like all the time and they're wondering why their hair is not growing. Your hair is growing, sis, but you're cutting all your growth off. So your hair will grow maybe an inch a month and then every other month you're cutting off two inches and so your hair is always at shoulder length they're always at neck length and this is something that I used to do a lot when I was relaxed every single relaxer I would get a trim maybe sometimes I needed it but a lot of times I probably didn't and so my hair ended up hanging out at the same length for the longest time so the fourth reason why your hair is not growing is because you keep cutting off your growth all right guys on to reason number five the very last reason the reason why your hair is not growing is because you don't protective style. Protective styling is probably the most effective way you can retain length. 
The reason being is your hands are out of your hair, your combs are out of your hair, your brushes are out of your hair, gels, shampoos, they're not in your hair. They're not affecting you at all. You put your protective style in, you leave it in for a month, month and a half, three weeks, whatever, depending on the style, and your hair just has the freedom to do whatever it wants. Protective styling is probably the most easy thing that you can do to get your hair to grow because you literally just put some twist in, you put some braids in, do a protective style and then you leave it. You don't touch it. You're not combing it. You're not brushing it. You're not shampooing all the time. You're not pulling at it and tugging at it. It's not breaking off. It's just left to itself to do what it needs to do. And that's just to grow and be healthy. So if you're not protective styling, start doing it. It's probably the most easy thing that you can do to get your hair to grow. And you really don't have to do anything. You may have to pay a little bit of money up front to get someone to do it for you. Or you may have to learn how to do it if you don't know how to do it already. But guys, protective style for about a month, a month and a half, depending on the style. Let your hair breathe. Take it out. Do, do bunning. Do braid out or something like that. And then protective style again. Protect your edges. But protective style may be every other month, every few months, depending on you know, what your lifestyle is like and what your edges are like because it's not protective styling if it's ripping out your edges. People who do braids back to back, people who do things back to back, a lot of times their edges are very, very thin. So depending on your lifestyle, protect it, protective style as often as you can. You don't even know how many YouTube videos and things that I've watched about people who literally just wore wigs all the time and their hair just grew like before and after pictures. There's so many people who do this. So if you're looking for the most easy way to get some length and to see results, protective style. The fifth reason why your hair is not growing is because you don't protective style. All right guys, so time for question of the day. Which one of these five tips do you need to work on? What is the one thing that stuck out to you that I mentioned? Comment down below and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this style, if you like this chill kind of outdoor vibe, let me know, comment down below. And if you're not subscribed, make sure that you do that. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.